I wish to purchase the food item consisting of a cooked patty of meat which was obtained from a bovine creature that was grown and slaughtered exclusively for consumption by a homo sapien. Located between two units of food made of a combination of flour, water, and a leavening agent, which has been mixed together and baked. Preferably of the variety which is designed specifically for the aforementioned cooked meat patty, along with several other condiments typically accompanying said food item. However, one condiment I would prefer this food item be lacking is the topping made from the processed curd of the milk of the aforementioned bovine creature. The presence of which usually being just cause to name it another food item entirely. Actually, scratch and omit the last part of the demand which I have just given you. As upon a deep self-reflection upon my desires I have decided that I do indeed wish for this cooked patty to possess the topping made from the processed curd of milk from said bovine creature. The presence of which being just cause to name it an entirely different item of sustenance. Furthermore, in addition to the aforementioned cooked patty topped with the processed curd of said bovine creature, I also desire a frankfurter. Specifically one served in a long roll and topped with various condiments of which I desire to add myself after procuring said item. I also wish to procure a cold drink made of milk, a sweet flavoring such as fruit or chocolate, and ice cream, which has been whisked until it is frothy, and topped with sufficient sodium chloride as to toxify the drinker of said liquid. And lastly, I wish to obtain a multitude of thin potato slices which have been, baked until crisp, salted and packaged in a bag and which is a kind of side dish many homo sapiens procure when consuming such items as the ones I have finished listing. Cease, desist, and negate the action you are currently partaking in involving the vocalization of variety of sustenance you wish to procure at the commercial establishment myself and your person are currently located at as despite your intense desire to procure and consume the multitude of foodstuffs you have recently concluded verbalizing, you shall in actuality not be receiving even a single one of them by the exclusive decree of me as an individual. And what's more, in addition to obtaining zero items from said establishment with which to satisfy your hunger and thirst, you shall be content, fulfilled, and all around satisfied with the decision I have just elaborated, as failure to possess such satisfaction will result in my disdain with your behavior reaching a tipping point, which may then likely result in physical harm befalling your person from the apparatus I currently have in the vicinity which consists of a wooden handle, long metal pole, and a heavy wooden or metal head at the end, the item in question often being used to hit the dimpled spherical object that is central to the game called golf, the name of which often being falsely believed to originate from the redundant acronym, gentlemen only, ladies forbidden.